Welcome to Grammar with Cole Boo! Yay! On today's episode, we're back! Oh, with shit. more are we? Seven Select! Oh, snap. Ooh. These are the Funky Chips from 7 Eleven. Not the ones on the floor. <laughs> uh, they might have been on the floor. Oh, uh, so, last time we had the delicious corn on the cob and uh, the bratwurst and apple pie. Peach, peach cobbler. Oh, peach cobbler. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, yeah, those things were very flavorful, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. So, I had, I, we're in 7 Eleven the other day. I had to grab some more because these flavors were out. Because it is the season, even though this video will probably upload three months from now. Yeah. <laughs> it's about mid February. <laughs> but, possibly. March. <laughs> we have pumpkin pie, turkey and gravy, and then just sort of fill out the three, we also have Wero's favorite, hot Italian sausage. Oh, he likes, mm -hmm. he likes that he Italian sausage. We also have hot Italian, not that just is, this why do you right think we got yet. a loaf here all the yeah. time? Yeah. Red hot! Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Let's dive in. I, I think we gotta go like sort of in order here. We should so, probably start with the turkey and gravy. And then, and then. Uh, this is dessert. We'll do that last. Oh, and this okay. will just kind of bridge the gap. All right. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, we've had the beef ramen. Now we've had the chicken ramen. Yeah. This is seriously chicken flavor ramen. Does that say turkey and gravy at all? No. It's, it's, it's definitely, I, I, I gotta say no. Like, <laughs> again, like, like I was saying, like, turkey and gravy, those are hard things to, you know, replicate flavor-wise. It's almost, you know, like a texture thing, almost. Yeah. Turkey. Well, I mean, would you really want it to, <laughs> to be turkey and gravy versus literally anything yeah. else? Like, you have to douse your potatoes in gravy just to get that gravy flavor, right? So it's like, you got potato chips, you know. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't deliver. So yeah, I guess, I guess I approve of this, kind of. Yeah. It would be, you know, more appropriate than a turkey and gravy. I think they would have been better flavor. off just taking the powdered gravy mix and putting it on there. Without, like, I, you know there's a little bit of, like, uh, stuff that you have to heat up in gravy <laughs> mix and stuff, right? Where, <laughs> You gotta, you gotta I bring just, it to a boil and then do like a fun it. dip and just stick <laughs> oh, in the package, man. Oh, nice. They're not the first thing I grabbed. There's like five, I would say. Yeah. I'd eat them, but yeah. I don't know if I'd buy them. Yeah, that's fair. I would give this a five too. I would buy it again, especially to show somebody else. So that's that's kind of my thermometer. Next up, we have the hot Italian sausage. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. These, These ones smell like immediately you get the Italian sausage. Yeah, and. It like a lot of these, and you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you have to eat more than like three of them to get the flavor. These ones, they're pretty Yeah. That's a nice color, too. That's yeah. a stain your finger color. Yeah, there but you de go. Definitely, by the time you finish one of these bags, <laughs> you burp Italian sausage. It's, it's pretty. I didn't know what we were talking amazing. about our dating history. <laughs> Wow, I actually really do feel like uh, like a little bit of spice is kind of burning my fingers a little bit or something. <laughs> yeah, the smell, right? of, the I, smell I love this, the smell of the pepper that you it get. From smells it. Like fennel, like yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. it smells like fennel, like a sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Let's her go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These ones are fucking money. Mmm. There is a little bit of a kick, too. Mmm. Man, I think these are wow. spicier than Italian sausage usually is when it says it's spicy. Wow. Yeah, I love these chips. Wow. Mmm. It's a very distinct flavor, but it is also very reminiscent of hot Italian sausage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am impressed. And like cooked in a skillet too. It like has the char in there. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, and you get a little, a little bit of that onion and you get a little bit of that pepper and stuff on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Those are fantastic. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Now you know why yeah. I fucking destroyed that one bag that mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, there might have been a sausage in here. <laughs> they just they just kissed it with a sausage. Yeah. yeah. They just threw a sausage <laughs> in there and kind of jiggled the bag. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's good stuff, man. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I have to give those like an eight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, dude, I would buy the shit out of these. Like I said, I just can't find them. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The 7-Eleven that I got them from originally hasn't had them for fucking months. This isn't going to compete with that. Yeah, no. <laughs> we should have done them the other way. Well, let's try it. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Watch you eat your fucking words now. I know, right? Yeah, watch those things just be like, oh my god. <laughs> it's just, I can feel the, the pie. But it's going to be like, it's going to be like Willy Wonka in the dog factory. I can feel the soup running down my throat. 
<laughs> Smells like a pumpkin spice latte. Uh oh. <laughs> Again, a chip. These are gonna be like the weird cobbler chips where they're yeah, there's gonna be grossly sweet. Some kind of sweet glaze on these. I mean, the the aroma is yeah. It smells like pumpkin pie. It smells like pumpkin pie. It smells like pumpkin spice. Yeah. A little sweet. All you need is a little whipped cream. Oh wow. It tastes like cinnamon toast. It tastes kind of like a churro. <laughs> yeah, a churro, there you go. Yeah, that's a fucking churro. <laughs> I mean... That's a lot of cinnamon and sugar on these. As a churro tip, chip, it's actually kind of delicious. I fucking love this! <laughs> it's not pumpkin pie, Holy but shit, God, these, these things are, are fucking great. amazing. I'm not getting a ton of pumpkin out of there. They smell mm. way more pumpkin-y than they... Maybe, taste. yeah, exactly. And maybe something a little bit in the aftertaste, but the, no, the sugar cinnamon mix on the chip itself, that is delicious. Like, you get a little bit of that pumpkin pie filling, like, on the back end. But, yeah, the first initial flavor is just churro. I fucking love this. <laughs> this is what sweet potato chips need to be. Yeah. Because these are real sweet. <clears throat> but they're so good. These are I fucking awesome. Potato chips as a dessert, right? It's a little hard. It's a little rough. It's usually super weird. But out of all of them we've had, these, these are definitely the best dessert chips. Yeah, yeah, this is all the good things about a sweet plantain chip. All of the good things about it. Plus a little bit of cinnamon. You know, it really kicks it up a lot. And, like, the aftertaste... I mean, you ever get to a certain age and you start to appreciate things like red bean and ube, that kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know? I think this is going nope. to be specifically for... Shut up. <laughs> no one was talking to you. You still gotta grow up and... Hey, you got a goddamn step school down there, motherfucker. I will get use it. it. Go get it. I will use it, sir. He goes back and cracks me over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking WWE, bitch! <laughs> oh, fuck. But I yeah. like them. So... Quite surprised by the flavor of these. Yeah. Pumpkin pie? It's a little hard to say it's pumpkin pie. But it's definitely pumpkin pie crust or churro. Yeah. Mm, yes. I'm going with churro, and that's the best churro chips I've ever had. Yes. Yeah. What's a churro? It's a fried dough thing. It's fried, so mm -hmm. these are fried. I mean, it works. Give me the chips. <laughs> I'm giving those a seven. Like, I think they deserve a lot of credit. Even if they don't really deliver as being a pumpkin pie, like spot on pumpkin pie yeah. flavor, I still think they have a lot of merit. I will give them a six. Try this one. Oh, give me that shit. <laughs> That's a lot of cinnamon on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of the ones that have a lot of cinnamon, they're pretty bitter. <laughs> It was also burnt. It was yeah, burnt that too. was also the one that was at the bottom of the fryer for seven <laughs> batches. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lofi has made a mistake. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> um, I'll agree with Lofi. That, to me, this is a seven. Uh, it's near. It's damn near an eight for me because it's so good. But like, it is sweet, so it's a lot harder to get through a bunch. Whereas yeah. yeah. This, I could easily this whole bag eat would disappear. eight of those bags of the hot Italian one. Yeah, that, that's that's very true. So good. If you want chips with actual weird flavors that taste like those weird flavors, get some select. You're probably missing out if you haven't tried any of these. Yeah. So there you go. Ground with cult moo, some select chips. Actually recommended. Not cold yes. Yeah, not a bad way to go. Ground tram, especially the hot Italian. Yeah. Oh, especially those. There's nothing else. Get these. Get enough for like a bathtub so you can just. <laughs> Soak yeah. in them. They're, they're amazing. Gets a calamine for after that. Because it's gonna have some itchy yeah. skin. <laughs> Make sure you wrap certain things. Cause yeah. Oh, baby. Do yeah. You don't want to get these in the people. Right. Don't tell me how to live my life. All right, <laughs> then. Okay. All right. 